Hello, it's Marcia with Then and There. I have a new item I wanted to share with you today. It's something a little bit different. It is a digital print printable that's available on in my Etsy to go along with uh, your junk journals or journals. These are for like nature journals. I hope that's focused. Let's see. There we go. That's a little better, I think. Um, there are four sheets um, available. There are PDFs and they're available for you to download and print and use in your journals how you see fit. So it comes with a weather observation. This is just printed on um, copy paper and it has a chart here that has date, time, temperature, clouds, wind, and location. And that is um, a chart for you to log the weather. This one is slow observation practice. I talked a lot about this one in the observer junk journal video, which I just put up a few days ago. Um, kind of my thoughts and feelings behind that. So if you wanted to go check that out, you could um, learn why I did this. Um, and it just simply has four the four sections or cards if you cut it if you cut them apart if you wanted to. It says, "What am I seeing, feeling, hearing, smelling, tasting?" And it has the date. Um, kind of causes you to slow down, pause, and take note of your surroundings. These are four journaling cards that just say a uh, documented event at the top and it has date, location, and event so you can journal about um, what's happening. It's a little cloudy out today so I had to adjust my lighting so hopefully everything's clear. Um, this one comes with three specimen collection cards. Um, they are sorry, faintly outlined outlined with gray so that you can see where to cut um, and what they have is specimen collection and it has the type whether it's plant animal or mineral has location common name and scientific name and the date that it was collected um, also I had some space over here so I put my information and a quote it says nature is not a place to visit it is home that's by Gary Snyder and these two I printed onto bright white cardstock. I don't remember the pound, but um, you'll print. You can print them onto whatever you choose to, and use them how you want to. Um, some ideas that I had specifically for the specimen collection. Once you cut them, they'll look like this, and you have the collection information over here and a space to put what you've collected. Now my thoughts were, the first thought I had was to take a little, a little bit of something on there, a little Ziploc bag, staple it to the top, but staple it in a way so that you can still open it. This you can take with you in your journal and have ready. You don't need any additional supplies other than a pen, your journal, and this card. And you can just put your specimen in there, whether it's a leaf, a feather, a flower, what have you. In fact, what I did was I grabbed, this is some Russian sage, which I have dried, and just grabbed a sprig of that. And I'm going to just put it in here. I like the color, and it smells really good as well. And then you can keep it in your book like that, and that keeps it all in one place. It's not going to... It's less likely to fall apart and or crumble or get lost or broken. So um, I'm just getting the rest of the air out of there. So that's one way you could use those. And um, you could put anything on there. You could even put like moss or bark or um, anything that you find. If it's uh, fossil even, you could put that in there. Um, another way you could use these is, of course, um, I'm sure a lot of us have seen, or most of us, that you can use some packing tape. If I can get a little piece here, I'm going to go and cut a piece. And I have I have this book here because that's where I press cards and, not cards, <laughs> press leaves and flowers and things that I find, that I pick up on my nature walks. I'm going to cut a piece of that and find something here. Now, because these were have been pressed for a while, I don't have the exact information as far as um, I do want to use that, but not for this. As far as like all the information where 
I got it from and when I picked it up. I have an idea. I don't know exactly. Let's see. What else do I have that I can press? Oh, here we go. That's pretty. I'll have to do some research to find out what that is. Just place that on there. And I'm going to... Hmm, it's a little bit big, but I'm going to use two pieces. And just press it on there. And if you get a fresh unpressed leaf or flower that you can kind of press flat and tape over it, it it retains its color and freshness it doesn't it doesn't lose its color and this is just simple packing tape I believe it's from the dollar store actually <laughs> and you can preserve your um, collections that way and then write the information that goes along with the plant or whatever it is you chose to do I'm just trimming off the edges of the tape here because it kind of went over and that is a very secure way to press it into your journal if you wanted to keep it that way another easy way if you don't want to take a lot of supplies you can just grab a roll of washi tape and simply take something like this and let's see You can simply tape it on like so and then put it someplace safe in your journal to prevent it from getting messed up. So there's, a, there's, those are some ideas of how you could use these. Of course, you could ink them and have them ready if you wanted them to look aged. Um, oh, this is the quote. I just cut that out and you can use that anywhere in your journal if you choose to. And these are what the document cards look like once they are cut. And I hope you enjoyed that, and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye, guys.